Plain text doesn't have to be so boring. We could turn this into this with just a little creative trick. And this is actually super easy. I'm gonna show you how you could insert any kind of image into any text on your website, whether you're using Elementor, Bricks, Breakdance, Gutenberg, it doesn't matter. We are gonna use Elementor for this tutorial, but the method is the same and it's super easy. All right, let's check it out. We're gonna add some images inside of these heading widgets here. And just a heads up, you can use a heading widget, text widget, you can use any page builder as well. It's all gonna work the same. To get started, there's a link inside the description that is gonna take you to the blog post with the CSS snippets needed. And if you're new to CSS, do not worry. We're gonna make this super easy that anybody could follow along. Go down here to step one, and we're gonna add this CSS snippet. Now, you're gonna see we have image one, two, three, four, and five. And that's because I've added enough to add five different images, but you could just use one, just copy the ones that you need. And if you need to add more, then you could also duplicate these. I'm gonna copy the whole thing because I do wanna add five images to mine. I'm gonna go to my front end and to my customize, and I'm gonna put it here just to take a look at it, but add your CSS where you are managing all of your CSS. Usually I start here, make my adjustments so I could just see the changes live and then I'll move it to my CSS plugin. Let's go ahead and publish this back over to the blog post. Let's go to step two and we're gonna add a span tag. Now the span tag, again, we have five different ones, each for a different image. And once you set this up, you could actually insert this anywhere on your website on any page and it'll be good to go. I'm gonna first take the first one, and this is really important. We're only gonna take one at a time. I'm gonna copy this one. We're not going to get this note right here, just the span tag. Go over to your text, and I am gonna put it right here after princess, where it says Leia, and insert it. Now you're gonna see a space, and that's okay. Let's go ahead and publish this and go back to our front end back to additional CSS, and what we need to edit, and this is the only thing that you will edit inside of your CSS, and that is gonna be your background image URL. To add this, go over to your media library, find the image that you want to insert, and any image, it could be a PNG, a JPEG, it could be an SVG, it doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna work for all of them. As you can see here, I got Princess Leia and Jedi Master Yoda, and yes, those are their real names, and by the way, it is absolutely hilarious taking them to the vet here in Thailand and hearing them call out their names, uh, but that's uh, another story. What I did was I played around with an image until I found one that I really liked. Okay, over here now in the file URL, and this is really important and where you gotta be detailed. You only wanna copy right here where you see the slash WP content, you wanna copy this. Now, you can copy the entire URL, but if you migrate your site, then it's going to break. So just copy this part and be very careful. Include that slash. Let's go back over to our custom CSS. Add these in between the quotes, make sure to keep the quotes, and bam, there we go. That's it, that's as easy as it is. And then if you wanna go forward and add additional images, all you're gonna do is go back to the blog post, and the only thing changing here is gonna be the class. This class is insert image two. This one's insert image three, four, five, and so on. And if you wanted to add even additional ones to your website, you could just duplicate this, add the next one, be like an image six. And then up here where you have your CSS snippet, just copy and paste this and change the five to a six. That's all you need to do to add additional ones. Now, let's take a look at how to have fun and add these in the right place, spice it up so that way these actually look really dope. I'm going to continue and I'm gonna add in a few more. First, I'll take my second one. I'm gonna go back to my text and I'm gonna give something for Jedi Master Yoda where it says Yoda right in the front. Let's paste that in here 
And now I'm going to repeat the process, add in the URL. Let's go ahead and publish this, grab the URL. Over here for Jedi Master Yoda, my boy. Let's go ahead and copy that from the WP content back to customize in the image two and add in the URL. Okay, it didn't show. That means I probably just need to refresh it. Let's refresh it. And we got Yoda. Now, it's really good we're seeing this. There's no space right here. So let's fix that. You're gonna fix the space up here on your front end. And where you see the span tag, just make sure you have space between that span tag and your text. I'm going to publish this and also refresh. You're going to have to refresh throughout the whole process so it catches that CSS. And there we go. We got it. You know what, though? For a design, this is not the right place. I don't want my images to be this close. And this is what you want to look for. That way, when you are using this, you're designing it and making it look dope. Add a little bit of space and you want to be a bit strategic on your placement. So right here with Princess Leia, I am going to change that. So I just copy the span tag right here, the entire span tag. And then I think I'm gonna put it, let's see, maybe after the beautiful over here. Let's see how that looks. And that looks a lot better. Now we got some spacing, and this is what we want to look for, especially if there's a call to action right here, they would draw the eye to the call to action. It's easy to use, but we wanna follow best design practices. So just one more thing, I wanna show you how to style up a regular text like this, following some good design practices, so that way yours looks super cool as well. I am gonna go in here, and I'm gonna just add my span tags and be right back. Now all my span tags are added. You can take a look here. And what I wanted to do is space them out. When you are setting this up just like what we did with Princess Leia right over here, you're gonna want to move it around, try to fit it in a place that looks good. You don't want them to be grouped together and it's always gonna be different based on the kind of content you have. Let me go ahead and add in now my URLs for these images and then we're gonna finalize all of this by making this accessible because there's one more step we need to do. And now time to add my last image over here in the media library. I got this sort of bag of wind right here. If anybody has ever experienced Frenchies, they will know Frenchies are very powerful with their air. And look at the way that I did this as well, you want it to kind of make sense. You want it to be playful. This is one of those things where we're just getting creative and having fun. Now, let's go ahead and make one change. And that is gonna be inside of the span tag because we need to add an area label. That way it is accessible for screen readers. And we might want the screen reader to pick up our image. So let's go back over to our text. And I'm gonna refresh this so we could see our images. For our spans, there's only one thing we need to edit and that is gonna be right here, the description of the image. So right here, this is a stormtrooper. All right, I'm just gonna put picture of a stormtrooper. And that's it, make sure it's between the quotes. You are good to go. And now check it out. We have something that is more creative, more fun, especially when you got websites say about your awesome dogs that you might want to show off and brag about, uh, especially if they got awesome Sith-like poof. <laughs> All right. I hope this was helpful. If you got questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you have fun with this one. And if you have any ideas, anything you want to see as far as like adding these kind of cool design tricks to your WordPress websites, drop them inside the comments. I love doing stuff like this. So this is a blast for me and I hope you're having fun with it as well. If you are and you like this kind of stuff, then don't forget that good YouTube stuff. You know what's up. Like and subscribe. I really do appreciate the support, and I'll be back again soon with another one. All right, thank you for watching.